Okay, we're going to look at this screencast at the uh, at some operations with functions. So the four operations um, plus minus multiplication and division of functions. Uh, so in in a nutshell, if we've got functions f x and g x, two different differently defined functions, that you can sometimes see written as f plus g x, um, and actually we can just put a minus there and plus minus. So that, that'll appear in the same way. Um, a, the product of two functions, fx, gx, we sometimes see as fg, um, x like this, means the same thing. And the quotient of two functions can be written like so. Um, not a lot more to it than that, other than to say if, um, uh, if the domain... So having a look at the domain of, of the resulting functions once they're added, subtracted, um, and, and it's then their relation to the individual domains of, of, of f and g. So the domain of fx, uh, if you let that equal d1, and the domain of gx equals d2, then we can say that um, f, um, what am I trying to write here, f, f plus or minus g of x um, will have then the domain of f plus or minus g x will, so this will have domain uh, d1 intersection d2, so it'll be the the intersection of those two, um, that's for plus minus, actually, um, and also for f g x. So um, f g x will also have the intersecting domain of d1 d2. Um, for f on g x. The resulting domain after that division takes place is also d1 d2, but we also have to uh, we have to check for values of x where g of x is zero. So we need to exclude those from our domain. Okay, so that's there the operations. We move from there into the composition of functions, um, which is quite an interesting little, uh, little exploration and composition of functions. So now we're looking at two functions um, where we, we, we look at composing them, so one into the other. Um, so the composition of functions looks like so. So if, um, if we've got f, and this is the sort of notation here, f of gx, then that equals f of gx. So what that means, we've got two functions, and what we do is we take the uh, the the output value or the the um, yeah the output value from from the g function, and we take it and put it into the f function, and then process it through the f function. If you if you think of the the functions as machines, so that's that's what the composition function does. It takes takes one function's output and puts it into another function as its input. So we look at processing a, a function within a function, if you like, uh, or a function's output values as the input values for another function. So let's have a look at an example. It's quite difficult to explain, I suppose. But if we look at uh, an example here, uh, we'll consider um, f of x equals 3x squared and g of x equals the square root of x minus 2. Okay, so what we could do firstly here is, well, if, actually let's look at the composition. So the sum, you see our domain here is all real. Domain here is all x greater than or equal to 2. Now, if we looked at the sum, then clearly the intersecting domain, x is greater than or equal to 2, would, would hold as for the, uh, so the sum and the difference. The product would be the same, and the quotient 
would be um, uh, would also be the intersection, but then we couldn't have this equal to zero, so we'd have to exclude x equals two on that. If we're looking at um, finding the composite function here, so we would look at uh, f of g, f of gx, f of gx will equal um, the f function applied to gx, which is the square root of x minus 2. So we put the square root of x minus 2 into the f function. So we get 3 by the square root of x minus 2 squared, which is just 3 by x minus 2, which equals 3x minus 6. So that's the no, that's the composite function. So if we wanted to spin it around the other way, we could find uh, g of fx, um, which we define as g of fx. So we take the f function, 3x squared, and apply it to the g function. So we're now looking for the square root of 3x squared minus 2. So there's my g function. To find specific values, we could say let's find uh, f of so find f uh, as I say fog three. I'll get to the bottom of why that happens at some point. Fog three. Uh, so fog. So this is now we're taking the. The, uh, the function value that for g at 3, so we put that in there, we get 3 minus 2 is 1, so actually that's uh, square root of 1, which is 1. So now we're finding, we're taking the, the, uh, the, the function value for g at 3 and evaluating it and then putting that as an input value into our, f, into our function value for f. So we're evaluating our, our f function at x equals 1, which is equal to 3. Um, so another example, finding uh, g of f1, uh, so that's equal to the function value at 1 applied to the g function. So the function value at 1 is 3 times 1, which is 3, so we take 3 and put it into the g function, and we get 3 minus 2, is, so we get the square root of 1, which is one. Okay, so that'll do for uh, for this lesson on operations with functions, and we can go to exercise uh, to H now and have a look at those questions. I'll see you in class.